Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How long would it take to recover from an EMP? Imagine a scenario where a sudden burst of electromagnetic energy brings down entire systems of modern society. This is what an electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, can do. So how long would it take to recover from such an event? An EMP is a brief but intense surge of electromagnetic energy that can be caused by a nuclear detonation or a solar storm. When this happens, the effects on electronic equipment and communications can be devastating. For instance, an EMP from a high-altitude nuclear burst can damage or disrupt electronic devices over a vast area, potentially as large as a state like Nebraska. Three. The recovery time is a complex issue because it depends on several factors, including the severity of the EMP, the type of equipment affected, and the availability of spare parts and skilled technicians. After an EMP event, communications capabilities could be down for days, and in some cases even weeks or months. For example, if communications towers and repeaters are damaged by the blast or the EMP, they might be offline until they are repaired or replaced. The impact on the power grid is particularly significant. An EMP can cause permanent damage to electrical systems, including power lines, transformers, and control systems. This means that the entire electrical system in the affected area might need to be replaced, which is a massive undertaking. In some scenarios, full restoration of the power grid could take years, especially if the attack is widespread and affects multiple regions. Three. In addition to the technical challenges, human factors play a crucial role. The Air Force is working on tools to assess how operators respond to such disruptions and to determine the recovery time to basic and full functionality of systems. However, for now, there are no good tools to predict exactly how long the recovery will take one. The extent of the damage also varies depending on the location and altitude of the detonation. For ground-level bursts, the EMP effects are generally limited to a smaller area, around two to five miles from the detonation site. However, the cascading effects on transmission lines can extend for hundreds of miles, leading to widespread electrical, phone, and internet outages. In summary, recovering from an EMP is not a quick or easy process. It involves repairing or replacing damaged infrastructure, restoring power grids, and re-establishing communications networks. The exact time frame for recovery is uncertain and can range from days to years, depending on the severity of the event and the preparedness of the affected areas. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.